In the last lesson, we learned that given the nature of software, there is a need to have a method for developing software and managing changes. This means that a systematic, discipline, and quantifiable approach must be employed. In this topic, we are still following the approach made by Roger Pressman in his book, Software Engineering, A Practitioner's Approach. For us to build software that is ready to meet the challenges of the 21st century, we must recognize a few simple realities. First, the software has become embedded in every aspect of our lives. As per Pressman, the number of people who have an interest in the features and functions provided by the application has grown dramatically. In this respect that, a combined effort should be made to understand the problem before a software solution is developed. Lastly, software requirements and design become a critical activity. The information technology requirements demanded by the organization grow increasingly complex every year. Even large numbers or large teams of a software engineers now create computer programs that were once built by a, sim uh, by a single individual. These realities lead to one conclusion. Software in all its forms and across all of its application domains should be engineered. And that leads, uh, that leads us to the heart of CMSC 128, which is your subject for this semester, software engineering. So before discussing or defining what is software engineering, Let's imagine that you're running a business creating a, a handmade carts where customers can place orders with the details of their request. Also, you are in charge to create the stunning designs and follow up with your customers during the entire, entire card making process. Once the customer is satisfied with your design, that's the time that you will create the card and ship to them quickly, of course, for a great price. You also need to provide support after the shipment by providing design enhancements. I believe that your customers are happy and I, so, and I believe you are as well. So what is software engineering? Software engineering is the process of analyzing user needs and designing constructing, and testing end-user applications that will satisfy these needs using software programming languages. Another definition or another importance of software engineering is it enables us to build complex systems in a timely manner and with a high quality. It imposes discipline to work that can become quite chaotic but it is also allows the people who build the computer software to adopt their approach in the manner that best suits their needs. So what is software engineering? Based on Pressman book, software engineering is a layered technology. Just like what we discussed earlier, Software engineering encompasses a process, a collection of methods or practices, an array of tools that software professionals to build high-quality software. I will explain the figure in the next slides. So let's focus first on the first layer, which is the quality focus. The bedrock for software engineering is the quality focus. This means that to ensure the quality of the software to be developed, quality must be introduced at every step of the software development process. That is why there is what we call QA or software testers because they will monitor the quality of the software the team is currently developing. Next layer, we have the process layer. A software process is the overaching framework that must be established to ensure that personal abides by the same processes 
or activities that ensure the quality of the software. The foundation for software engineering is the process layer. Because it is a framework that everyone follows, it also becomes the basis for management control of software projects. It is also establishes the context in which technical methods are applied, work products like models, documents, data, reports, forms, and etc. are produced. Milestone are established, quality is ensured, and change is, pro uh, change is properly managed. We will have more discussions about software process later in this lecture. Next layer, we have the methods. Software engineering methods provide the technical how-tos in building the software. Methods encompass a broad array of tasks that include communication, requirements analysis, design modeling, program construction, testing, and support. Methods rely on a set of basic principles that govern each area of the technology and include modeling activities and other descriptive techniques. Last layer, we have tools. Software engineering tools provide automated or semi-automated support for the process and the methods. When tools are integrated so that information created by one tool can be used by another, a system for the support of software development called computer-aided software engineering is established. We need to put into our minds class that developing a software has three aspects, process, methods, and tools. All of these aspects are established with the quality focus in mind.